The reason the HUD message devices work the way they do is a mystery to me. I really have no idea. However, I do know how to optimize their wacky mechanics to their full potential. So uh, stick around and learn some really weird mechanics. Hey everyone, this is Syntax, and today we're going to be talking about this guy. No, not that guy. This guy. The HUD message device. Just a quick disclaimer, um, the first mechanic I'm going to cover in this video was not my idea. I did not discover it. I actually watched um, Spazzy64's video on it. Go check him out. It's Spazzy64 on YouTube. Um, he made the Chronicles of Xanath, had a featured map a couple uh, weeks ago. Really solid creator. But um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way that I did not discover this trick, um, but I think I did optimize it, so stick around. Anyway, if you didn't already know, there actually is a way in creative to have multiple HUD message devices be displayed displayed in the order you want to display them in without having them on different channels or using more than one channel. If we take a look at the setup I got going on here, I have a uh, Mr. Bear man just sitting here, say hello bear. Um, but if we look at this button that I have set up, um, it just has the really basic settings. I have it on infinite just so I can show you guys. Um, and I also have it visible just for frame of reference when I start the game. Um, the interaction text is talk, it doesn't really matter, but it is when interacted with transmit on channel eight. Now I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. I have three messages that are going to play in order. As you can see, it is going to go A, then it is going to go B, then it is going to go C, and just to show you guys, all of these are in fact going to show when receiving from channel 8, as you can see. So as you can see, I have the button visible. Normally, obviously, you would have it invisible because you'd just be talking to a bear, but I'm going to push the button, and as you can see, it's going to play the messages in the proper order. You place them one behind the other, behind the other, and it plays them in the right order. However, just to show you guys again, I'm going to talk, but watch what happens when I press the button facing the other direction. So now I am facing opposite of that first HUD message device. Watch what happens. Yeah, what? This is what I didn't understand. I have no idea how coding works, I have no idea how any of that works, but the fact that your player orientation can affect how mechanics work in a map is mind-boggling. I mean, just if you face, like, the wrong direction, your messages play in a different order. Like, as you can see, I'm facing almost completely opposite, but when I face completely opposite, now it's playing as CBA. I just didn't fully understand it. However, this is what he said is the most efficient way to display messages in order. However, I found a pretty much flawless, 100% working way. I I'll, I'll see if it uh, holds up for me when I show you guys here, but... Yeah, I, I think I optimized it. Again, I just want to say why these mechanics work the way they do, I have no idea, so don't ask questions because I don't know. All I know is that it works, so um, yeah, let's do it. Basically, all I'm going to do is take my HUD message devices and stack them on top of each other. Now, this is the secret to having them play in the correct order. You want to have your first message, whatever it may be, let's pretend you're having a conversation between two entities in a map. Um, whatever the first person is going to say, have that on top and then have the rest of the conversation conversation follow. So my message A is on top, my message B is in the center, and my message C is on bottom. Now, this next part is extremely important because it pretty much gets rid of the whole player orientation aspect of it, and you want to place that first message, my message A or whatever your first message is, lower than the lowest possible point the player can ever get to in the map. Now, I am on a flat island, so for me, that's below the island, but if you're building a map in the sky, this will be a lot easier. Luckily for you, HUD message devices still work when you place them under the map. So just go ahead and place these lower than the player can ever get. So for me, the lowest I can get is right here. Well, at least if I don't go out of bounds, but place them lower than the player's feet. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just to show you the player orientation doesn't matter. I'm just going to move the bear to like eye level, and I'm going to click it from all different angles. Um, so you guys are going to see here in a sec. So I have started the game, made my way back over to to our bear friend here now you're going to see when I click it it's going to play a B C and when I click it from behind you're going to see again that it plays a B C now watch when I'm on top of the bear what's it gonna play a B C and just last but not least just in case you guys don't believe me if I play from below it's going to play a B C so for some reason 
when the HUD message devices are stacked on top of each other, player orientation doesn't matter? Question mark? At least when the first message is below the lowest point the player can reach and all the messages following that are directly below that. Now, I will be honest, if you do this and they're above the player's head, you'd have to go A and then B and then C, but if you press it from like this angle, it plays really weird. But as far as I know, if you have it set up like how I have it set up with your first message being below the player's feet and everything else preceding that, it should play perfectly every time only having to use one channel. So technically you could have 75 messages on one channel because that's the max for each device, but only one channel for 75 messages and that's a ton of messages. I can't even count all the channels that I have wasted in maps trying to cycle text. I remember I had a video a while back on this channel called How to Make Conversational Text and it used the cycling of channels with triggers and stuff. I don't know how many channels I have wasted trying to have conversations and maps using channels I didn't need to use. So if you're like me, you're a story map maker enthusiast, this is probably one of the most useful tricks out there and I encourage you to use it. So there you guys have it. That is how you can get messages to display in order every single time in story maps where you're having conversation or you just need to have multiple messages pop up only using one channel. I think that's probably the biggest takeaway is that this just uses one channel. You don't have to worry about using tons of channels for conversation. Just use the one, set it up like I have in the video, and you should be all good to go. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you out. And uh, yeah, this has been Syntax. Later.